Lisa Stalaker's 12-year international career is a story of perseverance and resilience. From beginning her career at New South Wales as a specialist off-spinner, Stalaker's batting gradually rose to prominence, helping her become the first woman to score 1,000 runs and take 100 wickets in one-day internationals. Good. Good work. Oh, I'm gone. After making her debut for Australia in 2001 against England, Stalaker became a prominent figure in the Australia lineup. She received her first Ashes call up in 2003, where in her second test, she scored an unforgettable 120 not out, announcing herself on the world stage as a true all rounder. Once again, very full. This is another good shot. Stalaker is playing a splendid innings here. Stalaker was a pivotal figure in Australia's 2005 World Cup victory, where they went undefeated through the tournament, with Stalaker finishing with eight wickets and 165 runs. Further World Cup success would follow in the years to come, but this time in T20 cricket, both in 2010 and 2012, as Australia began building the foundations for what would turn out to be a future dynasty in the T20 format. So, Australia are the world champions. They've defended their title. Stalaker's curtain call would be at the 2013 Women's World Cup in India. Her superb economical bowling propelling Australia to yet another final. Yeah! Bowl! And look at the celebration. And that's a sign of a champion. After taking two crucial wickets in the final, Australia secured yet another World Cup title, with Stalaker announcing her retirement from the game the following day. Should be gone. It's a marvellous catch. Lisa Stalaker epitomises this Australian side. Australia are the 2013 Women's World Cup champions. A game-changing all-rounder on the pitch, and now one of the leading voices off it. Welcome to the ICC Cricket Hall of Fame, Lisa Stalaker.